So, like I said, we've been hearing reports of a really low staff, especially in your child welfare side. What can you tell me about that? Yeah. Here in Lenore County, like all across the state of North Carolina, we are truly experiencing a workforce crisis uh, with our child welfare division specifically. Um, we've also experienced other vacancies across the, the whole division of social services in our, in our agency. Uh, but child welfare seems to be the hardest hit right now with vacancies. Um, right now, we are um, trying our best to meet the needs of the community and to ensure protection of children here in Lenore County. Uh, I've pulled in some extra staff from other responsibilities to, to help make sure that happens. Um, right now, we have um, a large number of vacancies in child welfare. Um, currently, you know, I, I share with anybody is that right now I have a um, I have two social workers full time, and I have um, a social work program manager. Uh, I have an interim supervisor. I have a foster care permanency planning supervisor on board. Uh, we just hired two last week, so they've come on board, and we have one coming on in a couple weeks. Uh, we are currently advertising to make sure um, that we are to let the community know we are actively recruiting. Uh, because we take the business of protecting children here in Lenore County very seriously. Uh, I've been involved in some aspect of child welfare services uh, for right at 30 years and seven years as the director here in Lenore County. Um, and we want to make sure that we um, meet the needs of the community, but at the same time making sure that we are making sure that our children are safe here in Lenore County. It is a huge responsibility that is placed on the County Department of Social Services, on the director especially, under general statute, to provide protection for abuse, neglect, and dependency of children in the county in which you're serving in. And it's a responsibility that I take very seriously. Um, we have great support from the community, from our partners, our, our family court system. Um, we have great support with those. We are trying to do everything we can to, to meet those needs, but anytime you have a workforce crisis, you have to make changes and adapt accordingly. And that's what we've done for the past several months here in Lenore County, trying to make sure that we are um, looking for applicants. Um, our flow of applications for those who are interested in child welfare have been very slow coming in. Um, so we're trying to get the word out to, to our community, to your viewers, that, you know, we are actively recruiting for child welfare social workers. Um, it appears that there are, uh, the interest in child welfare social work is not as strong as it used to be. Um, trying to figure out what is the cause of that. Does people not want to get involved? People don't want to... Um, have that responsibility because it is child welfare services is not strictly an eight to five responsibility because sometimes we have to meet families when it's convenient for them um, to be responsible to them. If you have families who are working and say they are on a point system at work so when they take time off from work they get penalized and after so many points they lose their job while it's our responsibility to make sure that we protect those children and ensure their safety, we also don't want to do anything that's going to cause those parents to lose their employment. Um, that just complicates the matter even further. Um, but I want to take this opportunity to say to your viewers that if you have a four-year degree in, in human services, or if you have a four-year degree as a bachelor's in social work or even a master's in social work, and you're interested in working with children and families and truly making a difference in their lives, then please come and talk to us here at Lenore County Department of Social Services. We, are, um, we try to do that work-life balance. That's so important. We, we are exploring options, including possibly some telework. Um, to, for those, it's very difficult sometimes to do child welfare, especially Children's Protective Services from a telework perspective but it's not unheard of and it's not unthinkable. We just have to think outside the box and try to make it work, and we're willing to do that. We have, have a great county manager here in Lenore County that is very supportive of our staff here through the Department of Social Services. I've been in constant contact with him as well as the Board of Social Services 
that serves in Lenore County about our vacancies and our recruitment and retention efforts with um, social work staff. They have been very supportive of that. We've increased our salary sum for social workers to uh, attract those individuals. Um, Lenore County is a tier one county. And so our tax-based revenues are not as great or significant as some surrounding counties, which has a higher revenue tax base. So therefore we don't have that incentive where we can put in the additional dollars there to, for that recruit. But we're being creative in how we do that. And we're making sure that we do everything we can with our local HR, um, human HR to make sure that they are working side by side with us and keep, we're keeping everybody informed. And what we're trying to do is recruit those individuals who I've often said that social workers are born. Um, we can teach the theory of social work and how you interact with families, but you have to have it within yourself to want to make a difference in the lives of those that you come in contact with. And those are the individuals that we are looking for, that you want to make a difference. And we will do everything we can to create that work-life balance, but it just doesn't end at five o'clock at the end of the day. Sometimes we're still out in the field working with families six, seven, eight, nine o'clock in the evening to meet their needs, but also we have after hours on call that is responsible for responding to emergencies in the community for abuse, neglect, and dependency with children. Um, so we have a social worker and a supervisor who's on call 24-7, um, basically. Um, they come on board around five o'clock, and our current staff is also rotating through that process. So you have to make best use of your resources when they're here with you. Um, but we are trying our best to, to do that. Um, so if you're interested in applying for child welfare social work in Lenore County, go to Lenore County HR government website and put in an application and you'll be getting a phone call from us for an interview. So it sounds like you have under 10 people yes. staffed right now. right now. Where should it be? Right now we have um, total full, at full capacity, mm -hmm. um, counting management and frontline social work staff, we have 27 positions. Open or? 27 total positions. Okay. And so right now we probably are, let's see, we're probably about five right now, okay. a total out of that 27. Wow, so you have 22 positions open. Right now. Wow. Okay. And that's a lot. Yeah. And so even once we get them on board, unless they come to us with experience, right. then they have to complete the 72 hours child welfare pre-service in North Carolina before they can have client contact. Mm -hmm. So just because they get here on board, they can't go to work immediately. They have to go through the additional training unless right. they've already had prior work experience in a DSS office doing child welfare work. Okay. But the state has made some changes in how that's done. Mm -hmm. So it will be better for the county departments also. Okay, so like the two that were just hired, like they're not going to be starting yet. No, they're okay. they're no, they've got to go through pre-service training, get their training out of the way, and that's a seventy-two hour mandated training. Okay, and you you said you had two social workers. Is that the total number of people that can actually go out on calls or no. go do home visits? Can you explain that a little bit no. more? Um, my social work program manager, myself as a director, um, I've been doing um, after hours on call. I've been doing investigations myself, um, going out into the community, meeting with families, discussing, making sure our children are safe. I have another <coughs> supervisor who is also um, goes out and help. I have another individual who works in another division who has child welfare background and experience, and she's been helping us out also. So what we've done is reached out within our resources of staff in, the, in our agency that has child welfare experience, and there are, everyone's coming on board to help out um, it's kind of like all hands on deck um, to meet that because even though we have this workforce crisis in, in our midst right now, that doesn't stop our daily operations of ensuring children are safe. Mm -hmm. So how many cases are you guys dealing with right now? It, it varies because okay. um, we have ongoing cases that were still in place from when the vacancies were created, plus the ongoing new stuff that comes in on a daily basis. So I can't quantify and give you an exact number right this minute, but we are, um, we have right many cases right now that we're involved with. Okay. Um, 
the shortage, did it happen all at once or did it just, or did all of these openings just kind of trickle in? It, it's been a trickle effect. Okay. Um, it started shortly um, towards the end of the pandemic. Um, the, the period of the, the pandemic, the public health emergency with COVID created a whole new um, adventure um, for social work and child welfare. Um, we had to get creative on how we, we made visits um, and then the way we did things. And so towards the end of the pandemic, then we started having some, some people who were leaving for various reasons. Um, and then we filled some vacancies and everything. And then we had some, some others who left. So it's kind of been an ongoing process for, for, for a while now. Um, and it's just manifested itself now to where we are right now uh, with the workforce crisis that we have right now. Um, so it's kind of that's where things are right now. Okay. Um, but like official child welfare people that only that were hired to do child welfare say, and I get that you guys are bringing people in from around that have experience, but mm -hmm. that were specifically hired for child welfare. How many is that? Is that the five? Right now, we, we, that would be between four and five right now okay. that we, we have made offers to and just waiting for a start date. Okay. Um, and then we have the fully staffed division. So how are the other parts of um, DSS? Like, it seems like it's pretty much just child welfare that's having this big of an issue, right? Right after the towards the end of the public health emergency with COVID and the pandemic, we were experiencing large vacancies in our economic services division. Also, our food and nutrition services, our family and children Medicaid, adult Medicaid, energy, um, those type things. We are slowly have worked really diligently to get those filled because we've had a flow a good flow of applicants. Um, but with the social work, we're not having the flow of applicants that we have had with our economic services. Um, our child support division is fully staffed right now. Um, our adult services um, social work staff is fully staffed right now. Um, right now our focus is on building our child welfare program and getting those positions filled as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Just um, so I, I know exactly and I need to go back to the difference between child support and child welfare. Child, child welfare responds specifically to um, maltreatment of children that's either been physically abused, sexually abused, um, neglected, improper care, injurious environment, domestic violence, sexual abuse, um, dependency where there is no parent or guardian to be responsible for that child. Um, that is specifically child maltreatment that we deal with. Child support is court ordered that um, there's an absent parent in the home and the court has ordered them to pay uh, a child support order each month to financially support their children. Okay. Um, so the, my main question, you've only got five people that are really there for child welfare that were hired for it. So I can't imagine when you have that many shortages with staff that there isn't a disservice to the community. So are you guys behind in cases? What what are the tangible repercussions that you're seeing? We, your we are service? doing everything that we can to, to meet the needs of the community to protect children. Uh, common sense it will tell you that with the vacancies that we have, that there are probably some, um, we're not at full capacity in providing those services, but we are making sure that we do everything we can with a limited number of staff, um, including management and myself as the agency director, that we are maintaining those. Um, I cannot and will not sit here today and tell you that we are doing it at a 100% level, but we are given everything that we have every single day to make sure that our children and families are safe here in Lenore County. Um, but of course, that's a little bit easier when you're fully staffed and you can divide the work among the social workers for them to be responsible. Um, so right now we're filling in and doing everything we can to make that happen. Is it more likely that something might fall through the cracks right now? Not intentionally, but it, it could happen. But we are trying to be as diligent as possible to make sure that we're paying attention to detail so that nothing does happen. Because we know there's potential there, 
with the lack of staff that something could happen, but we're just trying to make sure that we're proactive and that we're paying attention and that nothing does happen. So we just got the press release yesterday that you guys went out on a call for, um, her name was, the last name was Lee. There were two malnourished children that are at ECU. Um, and I was just wondering if you can comment on that. I know the investigation is probably still ongoing, um, but how long had you had, you guys had a case with them? Did you know about this? What was the timeline between knowing about the malnourished children to actually having the arrest with law enforcement? That is confidential information, okay. and I can't comment on that. Okay. Um, is there a possibility that staffing shortages had an impact on that case? I cannot comment on that. You always got to ask, just even if you <laughs> can't yes. comment. Yes. Um, so the state assistance, because I know they said they've been having um, courtesy visits from other counties that have been helping or subcontracting. Has that helped? It's been a tremendous help. We, um, our, the newly appointed state regional director um, reached out to the um, surrounding counties down the east uh, in the eastern part of the state and region six specifically and said, you know, if there's any way that you can assist Lenore County right now, the assist is welcome. Um, and my, the, fellow directors in those counties in Region 6 have been more than generous in, in providing their staff to assist us. And we've even um, been able to contract with some employees to work part-time with us in addition to their regular work um, in the evenings or on weekends to help us out. And we've been truly thankful for that opportunity. Yeah, how has the state been, because I know those are those counties doing that. So. Other than that, how has the state been dealing with this? How have they been helping? Has it been enough or do you want more? State has been supportive in providing um, guidance for us during this process, um, giving us examples of what some things other counties may have done for recruitment and retention. Um, they have been supportive. I personally would like more support because, you know, it would always be nice to have additional hands-on that could help us, but the state doesn't have those resources readily available. Um, but the, the guidance and the follow-up and the check-ins have been supportive for that process. Okay, um, kind of like what we've been talking about with retention and incentives for people. Um, what, what exactly are you doing to get more people in here? We, we have talked with our county manager uh, and our county manager has been very supportive um, and thinking outside the box on how and talking with our HR staff on how we can recruit and retain retain employees um, In December we actually raised the salaries of our social work staff to help with that Recruitment process and also to help compensate our staff for the extra work. They're having to carry um, with the vacancies um, So we're, we're doing that process. We're trying to advertise in every possible media outlet that is out there to let them know that we are actively recruiting uh, and hiring. So we're taking that proactive approach that if you know that you have a four-year degree, we prefer it to be in human services, but a bachelor's in social work or a master's in social work, and, and you wanna make a difference in the lives of children, then we encourage you to apply. You can go to the Lenore County Government website, go to the HR tab, and you can apply for the positions that we have posted there um, and hopefully to get those filled fairly quickly. Um, we are um, looking every day to see what our applications look like as they come through, um, but right now the, the influx of applications is minimal right now. And that's what we're experiencing across not only North Carolina, Lenore County, but also across the United States in child welfare social work right now. Um, there's been a <clears throat> an upswing where there's been a lack of interest um, to that profession. And what we're trying to do is help people to understand that you, as an individual, you can make child welfare work in your community. Um, that's why you see that I'm wearing this button, is to say, to tell our, your viewers, is that if you're interested, then talk with me about a career in child welfare. Um, it is a very rewarding career. I've been doing this career for almost 30 years in some aspect of child welfare. Um, it's what I started out doing. I've, always, I've left it a few times, but I've always come back to it because 
you have the opportunity to make a difference in not only the children's lives, but the family's lives. Our job is to empower the family so that they can make informed decisions about the care and the well-being of their children. And sometimes parents need a little bit of help, like we all need help sometimes, in making those right decisions. Um, and we want to do what we can through our social workers to, to help them get to that point so that we can safely maintain those children in their home environment. As a DSS director, I don't want children to come into foster care, but that is the mechanism for which we have to protect children. I prefer children to be with their families via a temporary safety resource placement of an extended family member, or if we can put things in place to make the home environment safe, that's where I want the children to be is with their families. So if we can empower those family members to change those risk factors that put the children at risk, then we can keep that family intact and keep them together as a family unit versus mom and dad over here and a child over here in, in foster care. So if you have it within your desire to make a difference in children's lives, then Child Welfare Social Work is for you, and we invite you to come be part of our team here in Lenore County. Can you tell me around what that starting salary would be? Um, it's, it's based on experience. Okay. Um, and the it's thought kind of just went right out of my head. Yeah. Um, from minimal to no experience, um, we'd be in the, in the 50s range, 50,000 okay. a year range. Um, fully qualified, much higher than that. Um, but we, it's, we'll work with you there. One of the things that we're hoping to work for is how we might support you to further that education or that credentialing process um, with that. So we're looking all different ways that we can make a difference and to get you to come and be part of our team here in Lenore County. Uh, we, we have a saying among Lenore County government that we are Lenore County. We're not just the Department of Social Services or Public Health. We're, we're Lenore County and we truly want to be able to make a difference in the lives of our citizens to be supportive, to be empowering, to be encouraging, and to meet their needs on a daily basis. Yeah, um, if there is one thing that, and you've been talking about hiring and all of that, but if there's one thing that you want the viewers to know about what you guys are currently able to do despite the shortages, like if you could hammer something home in their heads, what, it, what would it be? Child welfare to the general public refers to Department of Social Services. It's just not the Department of Social Services responsibility. Child welfare and child protection is a community responsibility and we need the community to, to also be our partner in, in doing that. In North Carolina we have a mandated reporting law that any citizen of the state of North Carolina that suspects that a child is being maltreated they are to report that to the local county Department of Social Services. And our community is supportive in that aspect, but also that if you see things or hear things, then we need to know about that because we can't respond until we do have that information. But the biggest thing I would say to our community is we are being totally honest and transparent with the fact that we have a large number of vacancies in child welfare. And yes, that vacancy does impact the level of service, but the staff that we do have, we are doing everything we can so that service is not impacted and that we provide that same level of optimal services that we're known for here in Lenore County. And, but we need for you to come be a part of our team and, and partner with us and take on a career in child welfare. Last question, we had mentioned it right before, so this is an ongoing issue in the entirety of North Carolina, but Lenore County is having the work, is being hit the hardest, right? I would say right now with the vacancies that we have, we are probably the worst in the state right now in terms of vacancies. Um, and we're hoping to turn that around as quickly as possible, um, but we need those applicants to apply. Um, we can't fill them without applicants. Um, we appeal to the surrounding schools of social work. Um, through um, those who are accredited through the Association of Social Workers to make sure that if you have graduates that are graduating with a degree in social work, let them know that we have vacancies, um, that we are hiring. 
Um, we have student interns that we participate with through the School of Social Work. Um, we have students through East Carolina University over in Greenville. We have, we have had student interns in social work from Fayetteville State University. I've had some from Walden University. Um, we've had them from NC State. We've had all surrounding, um, so we're supportive. And one of the things I truly believe for individuals who are going into the field of social work, especially in the world of child welfare, that they do their internship through the Department of Social Services. And the reason I say that is because here in Lenore County, and I would suspect through the same through my, my fellow directors in surrounding counties, uh, we try to give our student interns a um, good overview of social work, whether it's through child welfare services, adult services, um, economic services, or through food stamps, Medicaid, whatever. Here in the Department of Social Services, we may have different classifications, but we all do some aspect of social work on any given day um, in the work that we do. And we encourage um, your viewers to come be a part of our team. All right. Is there anything else that we missed or anything else that you want to talk about? I think we've covered it well. Perfect. All righty. Not too bad, right?